Human trafficking is a curse on our community. Whether people are exploited sexually or for labor, we must do everything we can to put an end to this horrendous practice. On October 26th, Howard County will host its first Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Summit at Howard Community College. With me today is Sydney Ford, our Human Trafficking Prevention Coordinator, who spearheaded this event. Sydney, I know that survivors of human trafficking are working with the community and leading the way toward greater awareness and prevention. Can you tell us more about your office's outreach? Sure, County Executive, I'm very pleased to. Uh, first of all, what we're trying to do is prioritize in terms of who we reach out to, what organizations we reach out to, and how the council moves forward to make sure that organizations where young families are served are a priority, um, where education of the entire council is a priority because a lot of people just don't have the message about what human trafficking is, unfortunately, but they are as time moves forward. Yeah. I was actually at an event not too long ago and someone came out and said, you're doing a lot, we're finding out, but we didn't know about it. Yes. We need to have more public awareness and it's exactly what it's supposed it's going to do, right? Exactly. That was great, that was great. So what are some of the ways you and your partners identify and support those who are at risk, those families? Yeah, so a lot of people don't know that families at risk for child abuse and child maltreatment often are families that have kids who are so distressed they run away from home. And then at that point they may become prey for human traffickers. They may become involved in situations that are way over their head that amount to criminality, that amount to this horrendous crime. And so we want to make sure that families that are stressed have the support that they need in order to make sure that kids can really grow up in healthy situations. Okay, so I appreciate you doing that. What do you hope those who attend the summit will get out of it? I hope that, that really the community at large will be much more informed about what human trafficking is and also be aware of signs of distress within the local community so that people can identify families at risk, kids at risk, and make sure that there's an intervention for them before it's too late. Well, that's super important. I really appreciate you doing that because, like I said, uh, people in the community, when I start talking about all the things that you've been doing and, all, and the department has been doing, they had no idea. Exactly. And this is going to be really big, so thank you so much for coordinating that. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Wendy Schoonmaker, a survivor of human trafficking and longtime advocate for victims of human trafficking. Thank you so much for chatting with us. What helped you move from victim to survivor to advocate? Opportunity, um, but initially hope um, that there was something better, that there was a possibility um, for a better life, that I could recover and live a normal life. Um, and then having the support that I needed in place, the tools that I needed, whether it be through University of Maryland's Human Trafficking Prevention Project or organizations like the Council and Howard County Government, um, Hope Works, uh, having the supports in place that I needed to, to do the work internally, but also to find my power so that I could say, I don't want this to happen to somebody else. Uh, no, no, thank you. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for being willing to speak out. Uh, what advice would you give someone who's still caught up in human trafficking? Have hope um, that there is better, that change can happen, that there, there are people out there who care and that you deserve that. Um, I would say to keep going and um, to others who see people, um, just remember to ask what happened to you versus what's wrong with you. We're now at the offices of HopeWorks in our nonprofit collaborative, and I'm joined by Brittany Eltringham. Brittany works with survivors of human trafficking, intimate partner violence, and sexual assault as they recover from trauma. What do Howard County residents need to understand about human trafficking, Brittany? Um, I think Howard County residents need to understand that it is happening. There's still a lot of questions from the general public that, oh, that happens here. Um, and I think people need to understand that it's something that hides in plain sight um, and that there's different forms that it can take. So there's a heavy emphasis often on sex trafficking, but there also needs to be a conversation about labor trafficking as well. And I think it would also be really helpful, especially now that HopeWorks has integrated trafficking services into the intimate partner violence work that we do and sexual violence work that we do, that 
human trafficking can intersect with other kinds of violence, including domestic violence. And some of the people who might be trafficking or acting as pimps, um, it can be family members, it can be parents, wow. it can be um, intimate partners and, and employers. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, you're the residential director here at HopeWorks. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing an increase in the victims of human trafficking and, and, and what's going on in our community? I think ever since we've been able to bring in a dedicated anti-trafficking coordinator and um, now we're kind of in the second iteration of that funding and expanding that position and our presence in the community, we are definitely seeing an increase. A lot of our clients at HopeWorks, they don't always come to us through the residential department. Sometimes they come in through advocacy or seeing a clinician. Um, but the most folks are coming in through the residential department and that's when we're getting calls from the human trafficking division of the Howard County Police Department letting us know that they've got someone and she's got nowhere to go. Now, what, what kind of needs do they have when you are dealing with victims? I would say housing is a really, really big need. Housing, very often substance abuse uh, treatment, um, support with benefits. Very often they don't have IDs or identifying documents that they would need in order to access okay. benefits and other services. So a lot of times we work with them pretty quickly on getting birth certificates and applying for SNAP or some sort of cash assistance. Um, and and I, I think a big need is the the mental health and trauma support, but not everyone is ready to start that at the beginning. So understanding that the healing journey is, it's, it's not straight from point A to point B. What can Howard County, how can Howard County be a better assistance or greater assistance for those who are, are victims of human trafficking? What can we do? I think the most important thing is understanding that this issue is not outside of yourself, understanding that it's not limited to law enforcement, it's not limited to a uh, government initiative or um, crisis services like HopeWorks. Everyone has a role to play in illuminating that human trafficking is an issue and then learning about the issue. I think that's what is most important to me is that people really understand human trafficking is connected to all forms of gender-based violence and it's really connected to patriarchy and sexism and the fact that uh, power and control um, is, is the unifying theme when you look at gender-based violence and in the case of human trafficking, power is obtained through the acquisition of wealth and that wealth is acquired through the objectification and commodification of human bodies. And so learning about that and taking responsibility for learning what the issue is, um, learning what the myths and stigmas are, and uh, using that to inform your everyday action. Well, guys, well thank you for educating me. Yeah. And thank you for being a leader in our community on this terrible, terrible crime. And you know, I'm really hopeful that the summit on October 26th will be an opportunity for more people to learn how they can be involved and, and we can have more community uh, input. I'm glad it's happening. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. I want to thank Sydney, Wendy, and Brittany for talking about their roles in the fight against human trafficking. Since taking office, we've launched a number of strategic initiatives and together are providing more staffing, resources, and tools to battle the problem. We'll continue to work on multiple fronts to spread awareness, increase prevention, and prosecute those who commit this crime. I'm excited about the upcoming Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Summit and the information and ideas that will come from it. Finally, I encourage you to join our efforts by reporting any suspicious activity to the Howard County Police Department. Working together, we will eliminate human trafficking in our community. Thank you.